Hey YouTube, welcome back to a real short video. I just wanted to tell the story that this uh, 50B2 has to tell. So I detailed some of the damage that happened to this in uh, my previous video from uh, yesterday. It was literally just a day ago. And I think I can add it all of it uh, together into one event. I think someone slammed this horn into the ground like this onto the slide and uh, that resulted in every single thing that's wrong with it currently. So, on the end, big old bash in the crook, which, if you're going to hit it really hard, um, this is not an especially strong part of the trombone. Boom! It's going gonna, it's gonna to dent the crook in. Maybe the spit valve came off at this point. I don't know. I mean, it could have... May, uh, the, the spring was broken on the spit valve. Both of the legs were broken, so maybe someone just took it off because it was broken. That might be a separate thing. But also, looking at the slide, one, first position, really bad. As you get farther out, it gets a little better. It's not great, but first position, very slow. Um, and actually, looking at the tube, you can see that this tube, and I'm not sure if this is going to come across on the camera, kind of this part of the lower tube is warped. Um, it's got a little bit of banana to it. it. does a little bit of this. And so, in first position, all of that banana is up against the stockings, and it just does not want to move. So, outer tube, wham, got, boop, it got warped by that. What's really interesting is that you see evidence of this in the bell section. The uh, valve knuckle here is crunched just a little bit. It's actually kind of hard to see. It doesn't look that different than a normal knuckle, but you can see the distance between the slide receiver here and the ferrule here is different on either side of the valve. And most of the time, I don't think that's a huge deal. I'm just like, okay, whatever. But then you look up here, and I, you know, I noted yesterday that the braces are up here broken. One of them is missing, popped off. The other one is separated. I can just kind of move it around. But what I didn't notice is that the brace is actually off center. It's, uh, the bell section is, yes, the bell section is scooted this way by that much compared to the brace that's on the valve section. So when this, wham, got slammed down, the entire bell plus this and this brace went, boop, and scooted back compared to the valve section. Um, broke this brace, broke this brace off, and you'll notice if I put the slide all the way in, it's by that much. Those should line up, um, but all the way in, oops, there we go. All the way in, they don't line up because the entire bell has been scooted back by that much, by this impact. So one impact, boom! Who, who knows how it happened? Maybe it was forwards, maybe it was into someone's head or something, hopefully not. Um, that one impact ruined the slide. This probably needs at least an outer tube and a crook and uh, totally messed up the alignment of all this, crunched the valve knuckle. So, very interesting story this bell section has to tell. Again, I don't really care. Um, I'd probably get this slide fixed up or I'll sell it for parts. I don't really need a 50 slide. Um, and the parts on this that are messed up doesn't matter to me because I'm not going to play it as is. And honestly, uh, the bell section, with the exception of the buzzing from this, is in great shape and would be playable anyway. But I thought that was interesting, the story that this one dent imparts on the rest of the instrument, and you can see all the evidence of it. It's like an archaeologist expedition. Anyway, that's it. Uh, see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.